respected guests, professors and viewers, good morning. My name is Mirsad Hader Shah and I have completed my bachelor's from DHS of University and I am currently enrolled at TU Dortmund, Germany. I am studying automation and robotics. Uh, the the first author and rather the co-author in this paper, the first author of this paper is Dr. Nasser Hassan Abusak. He is an assistant professor at Yanbu University College of uh, Computer Science and Energy Dep uh, Engineering Department. You can uh, reach out to us at our email addresses listed below. We welcome you in this presentation and this presentation is regarding the paper IoT based efficient solar panel monitoring. The table of contents are listed below. As you can see, the, we are going to introduce you to IoT uh, and the research design of the system, the working of the system. Finally, we are going to come to the theory part that is the correction of tilt and azimuth angle. Finally, results and conclusions and references are stated. So, the first up is what is IoT? IoT is a network in which all physical objects, whatever the physical objects are, are connected to the internet through network devices or routers and exchange data. As you may already uh, have thought about, IoT is everywhere. You may have already uh, used IoT and not been uh, very familiar to it, but if you have used a smartwatch, that is then uh, that is an example of IoT. IoT has already made its way into numerous applications and some of those applications are listed below. We, we have uh, smart homes. Smart homes refer to the dimming of the lights or the, uh, the control of the lights that you can have in your home. Uh, for example, if you want your lights to automatically be powered off after 12 p.m. Uh, rather 12 a.m. you can program it or you can tell the IOT device or your smart home that power of the device at 12 a.m. and that will do it for you so uh, one uh, example is that this second example uh, that I already discussed with you is smart wearables or smart watches smart phones uh, that you have third example is a smart city a smart city uses IOT to benefit uh, from it uh, we are going to discuss an example of it in our paper as well and finally we have smart grids that many of you are already familiar with so the research design of this paper includes five different components as you can see the system architecture if I may zoom in for you we have five different components in it the first up is our node MCU the blue one in the center as you can uh, see node MCU is an open source firmware that is based on a Wi-Fi sock what it does it, uh, it, it its, its purpose is to produce an input output subsystem that is used for IoT based applications so as you can see it is basically taking input from the solar panel or the DC current and voltage sensor and it is giving its output to the MQTT. We are going to discuss it uh, in the working section but uh, for, let me brief you on the components and what they do. So first up is node MCU. The second one is the DC current and voltage sensor. This is the INA219 current sensor. This is a power monitor or a current shunt sensor. It measures current from 3.2 to minus 3.2 amperes and voltage is 0 to 26. And finally, uh, it gives output to the node MCU microcontroller. Third up, it's not a microcontroller, it's a Wi-Fi sock. Beg, beg your pardon. Third up is uh, our MQTT. Uh, sorry third up is our node red setup it is a programming tool that you can it is an open system uh, open source programming tool and you can use it uh, to your advantage as well and this MQTT is basically used um, sorry it, this node red is basically used as a system uh, or a monitoring system for your application 
fourth up is our Arduino that we have uh, that is the brain of the system this is a microcontroller and an open source application that you can use on your laptop to control all of the system finally there is the MQTT which is uh, a communication channel between two devices it is band efficient and consumes very very little power and it can be used as a transport mechanism between the devices and IoT. Now, uh, here is the working of the system. The Node MCU or the Wi-Fi SOC uh, or the ESP8266 collects the input parameters, voltage, current, and power from the INA219 sensor. Note that in the block diagram, we have we have added Node MCU and Arduino together, and hence wrote the Node MCU microcontroller together. <coughs> Then the microcontroller is connected to the MQTT via Wi-Fi and this can collect the output from Node MCU after opening Node Red Setup. Finally, uh, privacy is everything and uh, we used internet to, sec to secure our uh, passwords and username and this was done all on the work of Mr. Uh, Dr. Okino. Uh, you can check out his paper. Uh, all of these uh, setup have been briefly discussed. Finally, our addition in this paper or uh, our, uh, our research in this paper is on the correction of tilt and azimuth angle. As you can already see from this example, the solar panel should always be directed towards the center or uh, to the uh, perpendicular to the uh, to the sun. So as you see, the sun rays are now perpendicular to the solar panel. There are uh, there are different angles that are employed between the solar panels, and we are going to. Uh, look into those uh, those angles as well <clears throat> so a solar tracker is a device that orients the direction of the solar panel directly towards the sun so your solar panel for it to produce the best output should always be directly towards the sun it cannot be left or right to the sun's rays it should always be directly pointed towards the sun we have done a study on this that if you place it left or right or in the normal direction that a solar panel is normally placed on your rooftops or on solar grids what happens is that it loses crucial power crucial crucial power that can add up to massive amounts uh, in a in a solar grid uh, if you use it so with employing IoT solar panels can be made much more efficient and this study is particularly for smart grids or solar grids that have multiple solar panels employed in the grid. So you are using, uh, you are losing rather uh, very very important watts of your energy if you are not using uh, this research. So this can be done, the orientation towards the sun or what a solar tracker does, you can do, uh, is, what you can do is provide accurate data to the microcontroller which corrects the tilt angle of the solar panel. If you can see here, if you can see here, the tilt angle is the tilt angle is the vertical angle of a solar panel. Azimuth angle is their horizontal facing in relation to the equator. As you may already know, uh, the uh, the solar panels use terminologies based on these uh, these definitions. So, for a solar panel to perform best, they should be directed accurately towards the sun, as we discussed earlier. And in the northern hemisphere, uh, the people should face their solar panels towards the south. And the people uh, users in the southern hemisphere should face their solar panels towards the north. This whole uh, setup is because of magnetic declination. Magnetic declination, declination is the inaccuracy of finding the true south or the true north if you are uh, in the southern hemisphere so magnetic declination hinders the solar panels performance as you can see here the elevation angle should be changed in relation to the 
azimuth angle what you can do is you can place brushless DC motors these are small motors that are employed under the solar panel and these provide support to the solar panel and these uh, these motors basically have sensors attached to them that take hourly rate readings from uh, from internet so as you may already know weather forecasts tell hourly uh, ratings or hourly readings of what might happen so if you have uh, for example you have uh, 10 a.m you are at 10 a.m and there is uh, the sun is at 30 degrees and your solar panel is judging uh, or taking the uh, the sun rays uh, at an angle of 90 degrees you are losing precious amounts of energy as a result uh, you are going to suffer but if you uh, employ this setup of a solar tracker a microcontroller under the solar panel and that takes readings from the internet and you already know that the uh, that the sun is at 30 degrees the sun can never be uh, at 90 degrees on uh, on uh, at 10 a.m. so what you do is you set up a reading on it and that reading employs a specific angle for your solar panel as a result these results have been taken uh, we're going to discuss them later but first we are going to uh, talk about the results that we uh, that we obtained from the node red and M node mcu setup so the node red and node mcu setup as you can see uh, we uh, set up or we made a system that produced power output or that showed this power output as close as 0.4 milliwatts so that is not a lot of uh, in inaccuracy in our results uh, we set up this we compared the results of a multimeter and the power sensor or the setup that we already use so as you can see there is a little in inaccuracy in the results but uh, all is well all, all, all job well done uh, we did not have a lot of uh, failure in this uh, in this project second up is the results with and without tilt and angle correction using IOT so at 8 a.m. we fed we fed the uh, the solar panel or the solar tracker rather uh, the the output or we told him that the angle should be this and IOT basically saved us precious seven watts milliwatts of power as you can see at time 8 in the last column power without IOT is 20 milliwatt and power with IOT is 27 milliwatt so at any specific movement moment if you're not using a solar uh, tracker you're losing precious amounts of uh, solar output so uh, you can see as you can see a power without IOT is always less than power with IOT this is a small price that you have to pay the solar trackers you can uh, order online or you can make your own solar tracker this will benefit you a lot if you employ it with a solar panel and this will correct your tilt and angle uh, azimuth angle the conclusion is we basically studied two different uh, solar panel uh, monitoring systems first one was done by node MCU and node red and the second one was tilt and azimuth correction and tilt and azimuth correction can increase the efficiency of a solar panel by a considerable amount as you can uh, as you already uh, saw from the results in the previous slide there was a 7 milliwatt our power output difference and this is a considerable amount if you are talking on hourly and uh, minutely basis this system can help to me measure uh, photovoltaic systems production voltage current and power one of the uh, applications of this uh, project is uh, is very uh, important and that is the monitoring of the system if you want to make a grid and you want to know how much power that you produced you can use uh, this system Finally, these are the references that we have. Thank you so much for attending this lecture. Uh, we hope that you will uh, reach out to us uh, through via email or uh, you can read us, read our paper as well. Thank you so much. Take care. Goodbye.